wow, it has been like forever since I've been on camera, hasn't it? Everybody, this is Paige Hebert, and I'm here with another video. I've been wanting to talk about this since day one, since I've heard about this trial. Now, the news, I mean, literally almost pretty much every news outlet has been talking about this trial since day one so i'm not gonna bore you with any of the legal terms or what so as much as more of what i think about the whole entire trial so this is all for my opinion and if you don't like it then that's that's just up to you i mean so, the people that I'm going to be talking about, please don't send any hate. This is just about what I think of this particular person. And that particular person I'm going to be talking about is Amber Heard. I've never talked about her on my channel. And the first time I actually heard about the thing she's done to Johnny Depp was actually from a video I think a couple of years ago I believe when Ready to Glare one of my favorite YouTubers by the way actually talk about a rant that Amber Heard was being promoted by L'Oreal which is a beauty company that I think everybody should know who, who L'Oreal is. I mean, I've had some of their products in the past, which I'm not even going to go with the mascara they made like a couple years ago because I think their mascara they made a couple years ago is shit. T tell them what just happened. Right, why? And that you punched me in the you're fucking right? thing and you, you speak in the face and you said, no, fuck it, I didn't. What the fuck are you talking about? And I, I watched you lie. And then I, I, I said, you. Then... Anyway, you, I'm sorry that I didn't. Uh, you didn't uh, uh, punch you. Me across the face in a proper slap, but I was hitting you. I'm not punching you. Babe, you're not punched. Don't tell me what it feels like to be punched. You, you know, even a lot of guys have been around a long time. So I don't know. Definitely. No, when you fucking have a closed fist. You punched. You got hit. I'm sorry I hit you like this. But I did not punch you. I did not fucking deck you. I fucking was hitting you. you I don't know what me. the boat motion of my actual hand was, but you're fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I'm just hitting you. How are your toes? What am I supposed to do? Do this? How are your toes? I'm not saying you're bitching about it, am I? You are. Oh, That's the difference between me toes. and you. You're a fucking baby. Because you start physical fights? You're a baby! Because Call you the fuck because you start physical fights? I did start a physical fight. I was gonna make a big video. Frankly, it became too much for me, even just after hearing hours upon hours of how disgustingly abusive Amber Heard was towards Johnny Depp. I just couldn't make the long, big video. But that's not what we're here to talk about. What we're here to talk about is how the media portrays Amber Heard and what I think about it, really. Because... There's a much bigger problem than I am I think a lot of people should be talking more about. But us, us citizens, you know, it's just, it's always been stigmatized for, Lord, generations, I would even say, throughout almost the entire world. And that the stigmatization is that apparently if a woman is abusive towards a man, she somehow gets a free pass or she doesn't get as much of as a consequence, which I'm sorry. Knowing about the trial and the clear evidence that she has proven time and time again is beyond bullshit. And the fact that the media has made her luck out to be like, you know, she's kind of a victim is honestly disgusting because, listen, Johnny Depp is no angel. We all know that. I mean, he um, went through sobriety years and years ago. We all know that. He's had a lot of issues in the past. We all know that. But that man looks fucking innocent Compared to Amber Heard, in my opinion. I'm going to explain why. Because there goes to, again, what I was just saying as a much deeper issue of what's going on. And the fact that, you know, the other thing I really don't like about the whole entire thing that's being, uh, about this entire trial is that she tells the stories about the supposed abuse she went through. I mean... 
Listen, I'm no acting coach, but it was freaking terrible about the whole story she's falsely accused of Johnny Depp of doing, you know? We all know it's bullshit, you know? And what a way to go to make actual victims of abuse a fucking joke, Amber Heard, because she started accusing Johnny of sexual abuse and physical abuse and mental abuse. I I'm sorry, I'm just not buying it, okay? And the crying she did at court when she was talking about it, if you couldn't tell from, like, the footage, she was kind of looking around to see if anybody was believing her. And when the people that were not believing her, she she was trying to pretty much fake cry, as I like to say, to come out like she's all emotional. But here's the problem. Where are the fucking tears? Where are the fucking tears? Because I've seen so many guests on Dr. Phil out of all places where there are guests that have cried, but there ain't no fucking tears. I don't want to do this. And as Amber breaks down on the stand detailing the abuse she says she suffered during her marriage, she's being trolled on social media. I can tell you as somebody that actually has been sexually harassed myself, it's beyond a fucking joke, okay? And for her to be doing that in front of a courtroom thinking everybody's just going to believe her, nah, uh Maybe the attorneys she has probably would, but the rest of us, no. And it's so funny that there was actually, um, I think... The person, I watched a news story on somebody. I'll put a clip right here. But Michelle Weldon, an author and survivor of domestic abuse, doesn't think any of this is funny. Is this mocking of Amber Heard going to make victims of domestic violence scared to come forward? Absolutely. That is one outcome of this trial. I think it's terribly dangerous to her personally and also to every woman who goes to domestic violence court to file an order of protection. To see what the reaction is, it's just so demeaning and upsetting. I heard that Inside Edition did of that particular person. When she said that it was disgusting that people were making fun of Amber, we're going through this. Again, I'm no counselor, but no one's buying it. And the fact that the freaking person to say that but not say that Johnny Depp is the victim that tells me that there, there's still that stigmatization how men are treated as opposed to how women are treated when they're being abused and it's disgusting and I know that because one of my cousins who is a man had an abusive girlfriend in the past but yeah you know it's disgusting because I've even put my abuse story how I had an abusive boyfriend before. If you look at my YouTube channel, you know, a lot, you know, and the most of the response is, oh my gosh, Paige, that's horrible what you went through, you know, that because that's a normal response because me as a woman, you know, they're going to believe more of that. But apparently what a man says that they have been abused whether it's been rape or assault or mental abuse or whatever it's either laughed off brushed it aside or both and i've seen that way too many times and hopefully i could be fucking wrong but hopefully with that this whole trial the amber heard versus johnny depp trial going on still Maybe, just maybe they'll make uh, take male victims just a little bit more seriously. I really hope that's the case. I know if when I have kids myself and my child is a boy and if something happened to him in any way like that, I hope to God that he would tell me, you know, and I would take it seriously, you know. I mean, of course, evidence, a hardcore amount of evidence needs to be shown to know that it actually happens. But it's come beyond to the point where even when I do tell people that it's not all black and white, where if there are 
women that have been abused by a man, then it's possible for a man to be abused by a woman. It seems like they don't want to believe it because, again, the stigmatization towards that, it, you know, is very old school. Like, oh, men are not supposed to show any emotion. Men are not supposed to be emotional. They're, they're, they're supposed to like it if a woman does that. To okay, if any of you think that way and you're subscribed to me, then unsubscribe to my channel because I don't deal with that bullshit. And actually, the perfect example I could think about was when Repsion did a video on the Sienna May Files video. That was a perfect representation at the very end. If there's any any of you motherfuckers who's watching this video and you write a comment down below um, in the comment section of this YouTube video and you're like, ha ha ha, I bet Jack Wright uh, wanted it, you know? Or I bet, I, I bet he liked it. Fuck you. Like, uh, I'm being serious. Fuck, this is a real thing. And I can't stress to you how damaging it is when I see comments, um, towards men that when SA happens or something horrific happens to a man by a woman, it's just disregarded, it's laughed at and not taken seriously because he's a man and that by default men want to experience these types of things with women no matter what. And I'm going to be the first to tell you that that's not true at all. And if you fall into this that, that world, that, that narrow view mind that because we're men, therefore we want to be SA'd by someone, a, a woman for that matter, fuck you, you're disgusting and I will block you from this channel. I know that's kind of an... Ex no, it's, I was going to say extreme thing. It's not extreme. Fuck you. When, you know, uh, um, I can't think of the guy's name that was sexually harassed by Sienna May. Has said, you know, there's been people that have said, oh, he's just faking it. Oh, he should have liked it. Or that can't be real. I mean, he's a guy. I mean, especially, and, and this is also another reason why I've said in the past, I don't really identify myself as a feminist. Because... Okay, feminism used to be the term that equal rights for men and women. And now feminism is just, oh, fuck all men, fuck all white people. That kind of new wave of feminism in the, in the United States and Canada, at least I know of. But the main point I'm bringing about this video is that, yes, I am one of those people that believe that if women can be abused... Unfortunately, men can be too. Really wish that that was taken a lot more seriously even before then. And also, I'd like to say, as far as Amber Heard herself, I just, I just want to say this about her. I fucking hate the bitch, okay? I'm not going to candy coat it because... I already think she's a bad actress as she is. I'm going to be honest with you. I've seen a little bit of the Aquaman movie, but um, I haven't seen a whole lot. I know my mom really liked it a lot because it's got Jason Momoa in it, you know, and he's originally from Norwalk, Iowa, too. So another um, a famous actor has originally lived in Iowa. So, I mean, that... That's always a big thing here in my home state, but I'm getting off topic of that. And, um, you know, I have seen a little bit of it, and I saw the clips with her in it. it I'm sorry, I think it was fucking trash. I just... And that was the better performance she's had. I don't... I don't know. And, and that's the least of my problems with her. The biggest problem with her is that she's very abusive. She was shit to Johnny's children and she was shit towards Johnny himself and she was very manipulate she's very manipulative and abusive towards other staffs and actors I mean from what I've heard Jason Momoa actually said he had problems with her during the sets of Aquaman itself. So, if somebody could fucking say that. Oh, and the exes of Johnny Depp have he even said, No, Johnny Depp is not what Amber's claiming to be. Oh, and it's so funny that she the pictures of her with her bru all bruised up, supposedly, where um, she used what makeup she used. Um, 
the cover of her bruises or whatever. That makeup brand actually called her out and said, we didn't come out until 2017. And the, fi the pictures themselves was supposedly from like 2015. So, make it make sense. And I just... There's really not much I could say about Amber Heard. I could make a whole fucking rant about how much I despise her. This woman disgusts me in all belief. She might be beautiful on the outside, but her as a person, she is nasty and repulsive. I just, it really just goes to show you how looks can be very deceiving. But yeah, there's still people who believe her. You know, she's a terrible liar in my opinion, and most opinions of people who have common sense. I mean, if we can call out men who are abusive, we we have every right to call out women who are abusive. Abuse is abuse, and if you, there, there should be consequences for those kind of actions. No matter what, you are a man or a woman. We should not put any double standards of that. So there's avenues out there. The thing is that male victim has to overcome that, that, that feeling of embarrassment. Because once they overcome that feeling of embarrassment, that's when they'll be able to start the healing process. It's disgusting that, unfortunately, that's the reality of it. Unfortunately, it's the reality of it. And I'm not a lawyer. I don't work in the law um, system. I'm not even a judge. I don't know how all of that goes behind the scenes, but I don't know. Personally, you know, when even like everyday people like you and me are saying that Amber Heard is a fucking liar, I mean, and with all the evidence shown what a piece of shit she's done and said to Johnny Depp, I think it should be enough, but apparently it's not, and the trial's still going on. I wish it could just fucking end and just get a conclusion, but hopefully it'll end pretty soon because it's come to the point where I just wanted to end, and I'm sure the attorneys of Johnny Depp and Johnny Depp himself just wanted to end Oh, and by the way, another thing I also want to say is that I really hate that the media has been saying things like, well, Johnny Depp's been getting a lot of praise and Amber Heard is getting booed at. Like, it's almost like they're trying to say that she's the victim. She's not a victim. Again, we have freaking evidence that she's incredibly abusive. I don't know how much further I can say about that. Anyways, guys... I could go on forever. I hate the stigmatizations between men who are abused all day long, but it, it could go on forever. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like my content, you can subscribe to me. Um, you can leave a comment down below. I also got a Patreon and my art shops are down below too. Thank you guys. I'll see you next time. Thank you.